Alrighty folks, so I got this hood latch here and a lot of folks like to do a will it run video and this video is going to be will it fit? Okay, because I'm going to check and see if it's going to work on our 57 quarter net. So I got this hood latch and there's a couple mistakes I did make in a previous video. If we look down here, there's all one piece. It's a solid piece the whole thing all the way down and uh it does curve around there it's a little bit of rot but it is supposed to curve around there and uh figure i'd make this and then it does have a bolt hole down there as well that ties in i believe to the lower valise and uh we also have two slots up here that have two bolt holes that go through there and then if you're wondering this is again it looks like 18 gauge steel and the other thing i wanted to point out as well and i did not catch this but uh i might have mentioned it but i don't remember if i did or not but i want to point this out there's supposed to be a spring right here and a little washer kind of a lock washer that goes up underneath this and you have to have that spring there and that little washer that goes underneath this in order for the hood to shot properly, if that makes sense. Now, don't panic on that. It's not a big deal. And uh, in this case, the hard part is done. I have the lower hood latch. This is for a 57 and 58 Plymouth. They are the same. And... Uh, it's nothing to panic about it's just a spring and it's just a little kind of a lock washer so to speak that goes up underneath this and i'm gonna uh, dug into it a little bit and i'm gonna measure this it's like a seat down there it's sitting it sits in the seat and i will measure this diameter once we clean it up i gotta clean this up yet and we'll see what the od diameter is on the spring where the spring sits and then the distance from where it sits down here up and then what that will do is that will tell me the outer diameter of the spring and the height of the spring and we can find we can take a caliper once we clean this up and measure the outer diameter of this uh latch part here and then what we can do is get our lock washer now what tells me from looking at this hood latch a little bit and uh what tells me is somebody has had this off before and i say that because the spring could have broken it could have came off somebody just took it off okay that might have been the case that's probably what happened there's a story behind all these parts and uh that's probably what happened is the spring probably broke and then what they did is they probably pulled the spring off and then they also they would have had to had this part off this is nothing more than a stud with a special end on it that's all it is it's got a little slot in it right at the top there and that's also how you can adjust the height so the hood shuts properly can adjust this how high or low it is and somebody had this off they would have had to get it off i'm pretty sure in order to get that lock nut off and if we look it looks like that nut and that washer it might be original but i personally don't think it is as of now but uh it's kind of interesting on that so every part has a little story behind it and uh, somebody, I'm pretty sure it would have had that off. But if you look at our threads there, you can adjust how low or high the height of this hood latch right here. So you can, the more you thread this in, and it is threads right here as well. And you also have the nut. It's like a lock nut that sets the height so that your hood closes properly. And it also can affect the height of the hood 
overall as far as being higher than the fenders or lower than the fenders so you have the correct body lines and these hood stop adjusters also play a role in this as well so you got to have this right in order for the hood to close properly let me hold that still apologize so let's go find out if our bolt pattern between these two is going to work on our 57 cornet radiator support and like i said i make mistakes too i'm not perfect and i was talking about that it looked like this piece right here in the screen right here was one piece and it looked like this piece was another piece well i wanted to correct myself so i'm not perfect it's all one piece this is all one piece all right so let's go see if it's going to work on the radiator support all right so here's the moment of truth here will it fit what do you think is it gonna work well looky there lines right up it's gonna work folks it's gonna work it's gonna work beautiful 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 so if you're wondering if a 57 radiator support from a 57 dodge cornet if the bolt pattern on the radiator support is the same as our hood latch as our hood latch there's your answer pretty cool one issue we have is down here. So to a answer your other question, they are indeed different. It is a little bit shorter. So these are different. I want to point that out as well. So technically when I was saying they were two pieces, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was referring to just this part and then you know, from there down, I thought this was like a bar or a brace, bracket, whatever you want to call it. From here down, I was thinking that was a two-piece design. I thought this was one, and I thought this was one to make a two-piece, hence the name two-piece. But technically, this even though this is a one-piece, technically... That is the only part that's different. We can make this work. And we're going to make it work. So it looks like all we have to do is shorten this up. Bring this down a little bit. And then our hood latch will bolt up correctly. So I'll set that on top just like that. And we come straight up. So much higher it sits, but it lines up. That's the main thing. So our height and everything's going to be correct, and that's important. You want the hood to open and shut the correct way. So all we got to do to correct this is just make a bracket. That's it. I wanted to make this video. I know it's not perfect. I apologize. I know it is a dark video. But I hope y'all can kind of get the idea of this. And I have an idea before we end the video here about the spring that sits in the seat. And the little lock nut that goes underneath here. And I'm also wondering if it is a... Uh, you just push it down and turn it to take it off or if they would have had to take this off i'm thinking they almost i have to look at original one i never it's hard to find good pictures like i always say but uh i'm thinking they would have had to unbolt this i'm thinking they would have had to unbolt this thing here in order to get the uh Lock washer off. 
That's what I'm thinking here. Moth flying around. It is nighttime. So that's what I'm thinking on that. So hope that answers some questions. And that is awesome. It's beautiful. Beautiful there. Look at that. Real excited. I mean, that is awesome. Alrighty. We'll see y'all next time. And so far. Getting really excited. Awesome, awesome. And you'll see some videos on this. We're going to clean this up. Moth flying around. But, uh, <laughs> moth flying around. <laughs> Apologize, y'all. But we'll have some videos on this. We're going to clean it up. And, uh, we've got to fix one rust issue down here. I'm kind of wondering if it's a bracket that extended all the way down that bolts to that. Like if this is all truly one piece or if it is a piece like that that's shorter that this bolts to. Because it would have had to have a bolt hole right here where my finger is. It would have had to have a bolt hole right there in order for that to bolt on. So what I could do is just cut that end off and put like a 90 degree piece of sheet metal on here. And just come straight down like that. Drill a hole in the center of it. And then I'm not going to mess with this. Because like I said, we're not modifying good original parts. This is repair here. We're just going to cut that off. Cut the rod off of it. And put a 90 degree piece of sheet metal there. Drill a hole in it. And then we can. that's easy enough to make. We can make that. But I'm not modifying that. Don't want to do that. These parts are too hard to find, even though it is 457 Dodge Cornet. I don't want to modify that. We're going to use that as a template. We're using our parts as a tool to make this bolt up correctly. That makes sense. So we're getting there. Alrighty, till next time. See y'all later.